I just got to where Mario's place is. I'm just waiting for Mario. We're both going to the Vancouver Career Fair for VFX, Animation, Film, TV, and Video Games at the Vancouver Convention Center. We just walked past through Chinatown. We'll I'll give you some shots later when we come back. We were talking about Mario has never tried dumplings or wontons ever. Or not a thing, really. <laughs> this is like your chance to actually meet Mario because usually he's behind the camera. This is a giant abacus. Need some oil in. So I got bubble tea, of course, and a croissant. I don't want to film that we're, he we're heading to Seattle now. Yeah, this, we're in Seattle right now. Yeah. This is like totally Seattle in our other video. Seattle talks. In Square Channel. Okay, yeah. So this clock, we sync our uh, watches, cell phone clocks to this clock. We do it once a month. It's a huge gathering. I'll send you guys the Facebook event. Come check it out. Finally made it. It's legit, man. I thought bringing a camera to one of these things was uh, over the top, but apparently you gotta bring a whole laptop, VR, just Timbit bribing. Behind us over there, if you were like finding out what jobs and stuff like that, and what's in the industry. We saw BT. BBTV, which is like a YouTube partner, you know, the YouTube third party. Uh, for the YouTubers out there, you most likely know it. For the ones that are new to YouTube, you might not know. It's like you sign up and you give them a percentage of what you make, they give you access to their network of creators. And it's supposed to help you grow, per se. So I just make prank videos. I'll grow so fast. So what's your thoughts, Mario, after the whole thing? We're not really students, so we're not here with resumes looking for a job. It was quite interesting. There's definitely a huge industry here in animation, visual effects, all that kind of stuff. What did we learn today? That I'm really bad at making jokes. Hello, hello. There's no one working the booth. Welcome to uh, M Square headquarters, great old Tinseltown, the mall that failed really hard. Walking back into Chinatown. For those who don't know, I lived in Chinatown when I was a little kid, like one to five years old, with my parents because they first immigrated here. It's quite different now. It's less Asian, a lot more, should I say, hipster? Yeah, yeah. Hipster places. Maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing. In the Vancouver area, we have a bigger Chinatown, and it's called Richmond. Most of the population in Richmond is Asian. But this is where Chinese immigrants first landed, and this is where they stayed back in the early. I don't know, 1900s? I don't know, I don't know the exact history behind this. Look around, it's, you know, there's still Chinese stores and stuff. Goldstone Bakery and Restaurant, Chinese restaurant. But like, you can see that there's more the condo apartment buildings. This has been here for a while, Chinatown Plaza. The street here that we're walking on was home to the Chinatown Night Market. And it actually had two blocks. So a block up there and then all the way down here to pretty much the bottom there. This building across the street, when I was younger, this was all Chinese, um, Markets and shops. The whole block got teared down and this building got built. Thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe, and support Elf.